G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Yes, another mini quad on the bench today, and it's a B Rotor Ultra 130 mini quad from RC Timer. And here it is. It's a dinky little thing. Look at this. It's got tri bladed props, it's carbon fiber, and yeah, well, I mean, there's not much to say about quads these days. It's got an F3 flight controller, which is pretty good. It's got 20 amp ESCs. As you can see, they are the uh, X Drone 20 amp from RC Timer. And interestingly enough, this has the Zoe FPV motors, which RC Timer are claiming is a bit of a, uh, a first. She, they say B Rotor has joined forces with Zoe Stumbauer. Is it? I don't know. I'm terrible. Zoe Stumbauer, which is Zoe FPV, one of the most influential and talented FPV freestyle pilots today. Now, for those who don't know, Zoe is really into 3D uh, mini quads. Uh, I'll put a link to her video channel if I can uh, find it in the description of this video. She does 3D stuff, which is pretty cool. And she's been on Rotor Riot recently. And Zoe and uh, B Rotor have joined to bring you the perfect FPV freestyle motor. The Z1407 4100 kV motor has been designed and engineered from the ground up for freestyle. And it is the perfect blend of elegant design and high, high end performance. Um, by using quality steel, hollow shaft, CNC precision, blah, 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 etc. You know what? So, yeah, so Zoe FPV's lent her name to these motors, and so it'll be interesting to see how well this performs. Now, this little craft is designed for 4S operation, so 4100 kV and 4S, that's one hell of a lot of RPMs. It'll be very interesting to see how this goes. Now, the only 4S battery I've got is a Turnigy Nanotech 850 milliamp. So hopefully this will do the trick. Oh, that looks pretty big on this little tiny quad, but hopefully that'll do the job. It's a bit old, this one. Hopefully it will stand up to the abuse. Now, features of this mini quad as I see them are, it's got a camera. Yeah, okay. It's only a CMOS camera. Now, this seems to come in several versions on the RC Timer website. I'll put a link in the description to the the main product page, you can look at the different versions. There are some with different motors, even with an 1806 motor, 2900 kV. One's got a CCD camera. Uh, so I don't know, you can probably mix and match to suit yourself. This uh, this one seems to be a fairly sort of uh, middle of the range one with the CMOS camera. We'll see how that works out. And uh, does come with a circularly polarized antenna, the B-Rotor circularly polarized antenna, which uh, performs you know reasonably well. Uh, not outstanding, but certainly not near the bottom of the pile. And it's carbon fiber. That's an SMA antenna, by the way, if you want to change and put your, a different one on. Three-bladed props. Three-bladed props. Because I'm going to be comparing this just momentarily, because um, I want to, to another 130 size quad, which is the Taro. There's the Taro there. Now, people remember I reviewed this, and I really like this little quad. It flies really nicely. Its small size betrays the level of performance that lives in here, but... It's a totally different kind of concept to a quad. And to show you what I mean, I'm going to change the camera angle. Let's make a closer comparison of these two same size, but really quite different machines. Now, the, the Taro is really lightweight. You pick this up and think, whoa, there's nothing in that. It only has, what does it say on the label? It has um, six amp, six amp ESCs. So, uh, and these tiny skinny little props, two bladed props. So this doesn't draw much power but it gets its performance from the fact that it's very lightweight, so it doesn't need much power. In fact, it only has a 3S450 milliampere hour battery. The B rotor, on the other hand, is more of an industrial strength. It's more of a, um, but you know, it's bigger, it's heavy. Well, it's not bigger, but it's heavier. Certainly, when I picked it up, I thought, hmm, that's pretty bulky for a 130, but it's designed differently. It's got big, wide props, tri-bladed props, bigger motors, 20 amp ESCs, and it's just like a, it's more of a conventional type style of mini quad, just shrunk down. Whereas the, the Tarot kind of is a sort of a blend between the toy um, ladybird type quad and a mini quad. And I love this, it flies really well. The camera, although at CMOS, works pretty damn good. So I've been really, really pleasantly impressed with the Tarot and I, I like to fly it. Um, it'll be interesting to see how I feel about this because this is so much different. I'm going to get the scales out, show you what I mean. I, I could not believe the difference in weight between these two 130 size mini quads. So first of all, let's put the taro on here so we can see what that weighs. I'll line this up and press the magic button on the scales that don't show the blood. And here is the taro. This is the taro without a battery. So we're all even Stevens with that. That's ready to fly but a battery. It's got the FPV antenna on there, all the RC gears in. All we need to do is add a battery, remember, and it's 92 grams, right? Let's put this equivalent version of this on. This is the B-Rotor. Again, this is, all it needs is a battery to fly. 193 grams. That's it's 100 grams heavier. It's more than twice the weight. Twice the weight. I mean, 
Whoa, considering these are both 130 size, I'll show it. You may not believe it, but I will, I will hold these together. You can see for yourself, these are both the same spacing between motors. They're both 130s. This is more than twice the weight. So I was a little concerned that maybe this wouldn't fly so well. And I have to say, I haven't flown it yet, so those concerns may be borne out. But I wanted to give you an on-the-bench look first at what you get for your money. Now, if we do a bit more of a comparison, let me turn off the scales that don't show the blood. Come on, turn off. Thank you. Uh, you do notice, if we do a comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison, that although they are the same size, this is bigger. I mean, it's thicker. And um, as you can see, more stuff in there. This has an OSD. This, this one, the version they sent me, doesn't have an OSD. Why is that important? Well, not everybody runs telemetry on their little tiny quads. So the, the OSD in this one shows you your battery voltage, which is really cool. This has an F3 flight control. I'm not sure what this has got. I don't think it's an F3. It may even be a CC3D. I tried plugging into it, but it doesn't come up on my clean flight. So I don't know. It, it seems reasonably well tuned at the moment. It seems to fire right just with the stock settings. But this one's far more configurable because clean flight, you can go in there, you can reflash to beta flight if you want. Hey, that's, that's all really good, really cool stuff. So I am really looking forward to getting this in there. Now, I've already set it up on my Tyrannus because uh, RC Timer sent me one of the new receivers made by Eagle Spelt Backwards. And who are Eagle Spelt Backwards? Well, you've probably seen them. I've got to find the bag here. Hang on a minute. I think I've thrown the bag away. Oh, no. Anyway, Eagle Spelt Backwards is El Gay or something. I don't know. What, how do they come up with this thing? You know, but what were they drinking when they came up with that name? E, um, you know, Backwards Eagle. Anyway, there's the instructions. It is a receiver compatible with the FreeSky 2.4 gig radio. So this is pretty similar to the, what is it, the XSR or whatever it is, XS4R or something, the little mini quad receiver that free sky are producing but it's not free sky and you know you've made it in the world of rc when the chinese copy you so free sky is being copied or being uh, compatible units being made by other companies so wow free sky really have nailed it when they've been cloned how fantastic is that so the little receiver is tucked away in here um you can hardly see it because it's so small so i'm going to be testing that out as well and it has nice small antennas for little mini quads i've got one up there one down there underneath so this should work out pretty damn well. All I've got to do now is charge the battery, wait for the rain to stop, oh man, and we'll take it for a bit of a fly. So yep, I'm excited, I'm keen to see how it goes. Stay tuned and you'll know as soon as I know because this flight test will be really one of the next things I do because I can't wait. It looks so cute, lovely little quad, beautiful. Anyway, wait till it flies, I'll let you know what I really think of it. If you've got questions, comments, put them in the usual place. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I will now get back to the bench. Bye for now.